The United States and China are clashing over an international tribunal's ruling on the South China Sea dispute. Beijing refuses to accept it, but Washington says it's final and legally binding. And according to our Guangzhou, South Korea is stuck in an uncomfortable position right in the middle. The United States says the ruling on the South China Sea dispute is final and legally binding for both China and the Philippines. The tribunal ruling in The Hague on Tuesday brought victory to the Philippines, which filed the case three years ago, as well as other Southeast Asian countries involved in the dispute. U.S. State Department spokesperson John Kirby said the U.S. hopes and expects that China and the Philippines will comply with the ruling and call for all parties to refrain from provocative statements or actions. He said the U.S. has persistent concerns about China's militarization of the South China Sea. We have seen some signs uh, uh, in recent weeks that some of that activity uh, continues, uh, and we have been, again, very consistent, very clear uh, with our Chinese counterparts uh, about uh, our ongoing concerns uh, in, in that regard. Those concerns may linger, though, and even grow into bigger diplomatic rows as China continues to claim that it was the first one to, quote, discover, name, explore, and exploit the South China Sea Islands and their surrounding waters. According to the ruling, China has no historic or economic basis for its claim to about 90 percent of the South China Sea. South Korea is not directly involved, but experts say it has its own concerns. I think the U.S. could ask South Korea or Japan to take joint petrol in the South China Sea. I think the Korean government uh, should be cautious about uh, taking the policy about the South China Sea because the Korean government actions for or against one superpower country would uh, result in the opposition of the other superpower country. For now, the government is maintaining its ambiguous stance on the matter. South Korea's foreign ministry said Wednesday it's taken notice of the ruling and hopes that through it, the South China Sea dispute will be settled through peaceful and creative diplomatic efforts. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.